well, I'll answer you with a, a video response because, yeah, my fingers are, are, I am missing some fingers, see, quite a few of them, actually, see, so, and the ones I have left, they get pretty sore, so, it's hard to type, so, when it gets that way and late at night like this or something where I'm not feeling very good, it's easier to just turn the camera on and talk to you, tell, tell you my comments, what what I feel you need, you need to know about me or whatever, right? Okay, so that's what that goes. And uh, so, kind of wonder. I got this guy, that, uh, this hippity dippity guy. Of course, I haven't heard from him today. I wonder where he is. He was. Uh, actually arguing with me as he's supposed to be an atheist but he was arguing with me as to whether uh, circumcision is medicinal you know is, is medical necessity or not or if it's just done cosmetically because you know, of religious reasons well, well we all know it's only it started out in the Bible Abraham was told to uh, him and all of his uh, uh, descendants after him and all his Descendants after them, and all the slaves or that he has bought, all the slaves born in his house, everybody, all the males have to be circumcised. Said <laughs> in the Bible, you know, only a bunch of uh, really sexually frustrated old men would even think of something like that. <laughs> Come on, that's so stupid. That's really vulgar if you think about it. You got all these old Jews sitting around, and they're going, "Oh, I know how we can prove to God that we believe him." Uh, we'll cut off a piece of our baby boy's penis. <laughs> what? You know, his friends had to be saying, What? Are you crazy? What do you want to do that for? Some kind of pervert? <laughs> Obviously, they didn't. Obviously, they're just as perverted as, as the guy suggested the fucking thing. Jeez, man. Then, what makes with Muslims think that women are all wicked and that if you have they even have a word for being stained by too many women yeah maculated they call it yeah I don't get it because <laughs> they think women can stain you I guess I thought they revered women no you don't oh, okay. and that's why they really cover them up they're not keep for themselves or or it's because you're so damn ugly. Nah, I'm just poking fun at you now. But, I mean, seriously, now. All, all of these different gods, y'all got all these different religions, and each one's got all these different little rules. It, you know, what, do y'all think there's some kind of, this God sitting up there, you know, with each religion as it comes up, he says, uh, you know, he's got all his heavenly hosts, like I was saying earlier, you know, all sitting around and, a couple angels here, right? You know, some cherubs, maybe, right? Maybe Mary Magdalene's sitting there with him because she should be at the right hand of God by now, right? And his son's there, yeah, it's really taking up. And they're all sitting around there. And he says, hey, what's this? What's what I do to these critters now? He's talking about us, of course, because it was little critters that he created to uh, just to watch us destroy ourselves, I guess. <laughs> I don't know. He seems to know what is going to happen. That's what they tell us. That means all the evil that is done and everything else. He produced all that. God created all of that. Yeah, all the nasty, evil, everything, right? Not just good stuff, but yeah, the worst. Excuse me. Tell you what, there's nothing I can do in the do. Anyway. So. I'm just trying to point out how silly religions are and their tenets. I mean, you know, Muslims think if they die a martyr, they're gonna get, uh, they're gonna wind up with 72 virgins. And what's with 72? And why virgins? Why do they have to be virgins? Would that mean 11, 12, 13 year old girls? Because in their culture, they marry them off at six, seven, eight years old. I hear. No, well, Muhammad married one at six. Oh, next I'm going to hear, but they didn't have sex. Then why did they use the word married? Which we all know means consummated. God, you people. 
you can't sit and pick and choose and make up other stories to try to make the Bible, the Quran, Torah, to try to make them sound better than what they really are. Because they're not. They're just tools of oppression. The burqa, the virgins, the circumcision, female circumcision, all of that crap. It's just, you know, flagellation for gods, for beings that are supposed to be so powerful that they manipulate the physical world. They're supposed to know everything in the future, the past, now. And if that's true, that means this God knows when we're going to have our next big earthquake that's going to kill hundreds of thousands of people. Or the next time some terrorist is going to kind of attack and kill thousands of people. Why aren't you stopping it? Well, probably for the same reason that God doesn't seem to pay attention to amputees. Yeah, not there. Don't know what else to tell you. If there were a God, I would probably have my legs back because I'm certain there are some churches that have been praying for the return of my legs <laughs> for my request. <laughs> Give it a shot. Hedge your bet, right? That's what agnostics do. That's their little thing. Oh, I'm an agnostic. They don't want to say they're an atheist. I don't know why. They don't want to admit that they're logically realizing that there's just no room in reality for a magician like that. They just can't come to see me come to grips with that logic. So they say, well, I'm agnostic. You can't know. <laughs> yes, I can. <laughs> I love that one, agnostic. I don't call it, I, that's one of my, what I call a cop-out label. There's more where that came from. I got more coming around the band. And let me tell you. And this guy, who's this guy, Willie Willie? What the fuck are you crying about, man? Huh? What? What is on your mind? Why are you complaining so hard about these stupid little phrases you hear from these emails? The emails are from ignorant people, too. And what I want to know is, why do you call Pat Condella dried-up comedian atheist? Why are you trying to make him look bad or something? He's just speaking his mind. He's saying what a lot of people feel, and very succinctly. Unlike you, who sits here and tries to make fun of others. Willy Willy. Why would you call yourself that? Don't you know what that connotation is? Willy Willy? Go play with your willy nilly, willy willy. That's what you need to do. Leave real atheism alone, real atheists alone. Yet we're tired of religion's insidious web and its little fingers and tentacles getting into every bit of our lives. You know? Bars closed on Sunday. A lot of towns and stuff you can't buy any kind of alcohol on Sunday at any store at all. A lot of other things like that, you know. And this, uh, and this, uh, 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 you know, pledge of allegiance uh, to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, indivisible, for one nation, uh, with liberty and justice for all. That under God part didn't come until '57. And we need to go back to E Urbis Plunum anyway. E Pluribus Unum anyway. Because we don't trust in God. It's just stupid. Ten Commandments. If you notice, they never really have anything to say about living. It's just about with it. I'm your God, and I'm going to punish you if you don't believe that. <laughs> and if you don't honor your parents, I'm going to kill you. That's about it. Hey, I'm signing out. Gerald Reynolds in Portland. I just wanted to tell Willie Lee what a jerk he was. See you later, buddy.